Hello all, welcome back to my channel. This is Irisha. So today we will learn about few topics which are currently in use and these topics will be useful for UPSC, State PSC and also other competitive exams. So first topic today is Konkan 2023. So this is a bilateral maritime exercise. Bilateral in nature because it is held between two nations. Okay, so bilateral maritime exercise between Indian Navy and UK's Royal Navy. Okay, it was conducted off the Konkan coast in the Arabian Sea and it was held between 20th of March to 22nd of March. So guided missile frigate INS Thrissur okay, of Indian Navy and type 23 guided missile frigate HMS Lancaster participated in the exercise and carried out a series of sea exercises to enhance interoperability and adopt best practices. Okay, So this is a bilateral maritime exercise between Indian Navy and Royal Navy that is UK's Royal Navy where it was held it was held off Konkan coast of the Arabian Sea. Next world university rankings by QS that is Quackerelli Simmons who are this uh, Quackerelli Simmons it is a British company specializing in the analysis of higher educational institutions around the world okay so this is 13th edition of the rankings of this Quackerelli Simmons. It covers five broad disciplines that is engineering and technology, arts and humanities, life sciences and medicines, natural science, social sciences and management. And coming to India, Indian institutions performed well in computer science, chemistry, biological sciences, business studies and physics programs. Okay, so IIT Delhi made it to the top 50 institutions in engineering. And IIT Bombay has featured among the world's top 100 in mathematics. So as many as 44 programs offered by the Indian higher education institutions in different disciplines have figured in the top 100 globally. Okay, so this year 2023 44 programs are in the list. Last year it was 35 Indian programs made it to top 100 list. Okay, and uh, Delhi University is the institution with the highest entries followed by IIT Bombay and then by IIT Karakpur. And this report also says that India is one of the fastest growing research hubs in the world. So according to SciVal, uh, which is research uh, insights database of this uh, QS, India's research output between 2017 and 2022 grew by 54% and is one of the fastest growing and fourth highest research output in the world. That means India is producing 1.3 million academic research papers annually. Okay, and the first place is uh, China, which produces 4.5 million research papers, and second is USA, and third is United Kingdoms. Okay, so the rankings are based on various parameters such as research publications, academic reputation, employer reputation, and H index. So these parameters are impo important. Okay. QCI and UP government launch Uttar Pradesh Gunavata Sankalp in Lucknow. So the government of Uttar Pradesh and Quality Council of India in collaboration with industry associations that is Asocham, FIKI and PhD CCI launch the Uttar Pradesh Gunavata Sankalp that is Uttar Pradesh Quality Mission. Okay, so this Sankalp is to reinforce Uttar Pradesh to transcend from Atmanirbhar Pradesh to Data Pradesh that is giving back to nation the knowledgeable and reliable citizens. So Gunavata Sankalp, the first of its kind being organized by QCI, Quality Council of India in India in partnership with the state. Okay, so this is for the first time and it has selected Uttar Pradesh for this Gunavata Sankalp mission. And the four key pillars here are education, healthcare services, MSME and vocational training. The Quality Council of India established in 1997 by Government of India and the Indian industry. So it is an apex organization responsible for establishing and operating the third party national accreditation system. Okay, so this Quality Council of India make sure that there is quality in every aspect or every sector that is education, healthcare, environment protection, governance, social sector, infrastructure and all such other areas okay so it plays a pivotal role in improving the quality in all sectors global tourism investor summit so under india's g20 presidency india will be organizing first global tourism investor summit in new delhi 
okay that will be in the month of may so now ministry of tourism organized a round table interaction with heads of mission as a run up to this first global tourism investor summit so what is the main objective of this uh, summit it is to provide a common platform for interactions between global and domestic players and explore the investment opportunities in the indian travel and hospitality sector so the summit will be mainly to attract foreign direct investments in tourism and hospitality sector so 100% fdi in the tourism and hospitality sector is allowed under automatic route and the minister for uh, tourism culture and donor is shri ji kishan reddy what is donor development of northeast region vedic heritage portal created by ignca that is indira gandhi national center for the arts new delhi union minister for home and cooperation amit shah ji inaugurated the vedic heritage portal and also virtual museum kala vaibhava okay so vedic heritage portal is to secure the knowledge of india's ancient texts and manuscripts for the future through technology so this portal will help the young generation to carry forward the knowledge and tradition of vedas and upanishad coming to this uh, kala vaibhava museum it is a virtual museum uh, in which the world will be more familiar with the, all the arts of india like architecture painting drama music etc okay so this virtual museum helps in understanding the different art forms and also glorious cultural history of india so world tuberculosis day observed on 24th of march every year uh, it is to raise awareness about tb and efforts to end the global epidemic okay so the theme for the year 2023 is yes we can end tb so coming to tb it is present all over the world and also it is affecting all age groups it spreads through the air and it is contagious but tb is preventable and curable so different stakeholders governments and organizations are trying to eliminate tuberculosis okay so this day also marks the discovery of mycobacterium tuberculosis that is the bacillus that causes tuberculosis it is discovered by dr robert koch in 1882 okay so on the occasion of world tb day in india one world tb summit was organized in varanasi uttar pradesh the prime minister narendra modi ji addressed the one world tb summit at rudraksha convention center in varanasi he also launched various initiatives and on this a uh, world tb summit that is tb mukt panchayat and the official pan india roll out of a shorter tb preventive treatment and the family centric care model for tb and also released india's annual tb report for 2023 okay so the summit is being organized by ministry of health and family welfare and the stop tb partnership founded in 2001 so coming to the stop tb partnership it is an organization hosted by the united nations that amplifies the voices of the people communities and countries affected by tb so the prime minister also awarded select states and districts for their progress towards ending tb so the recipients of the awards are uh, that is in state or ut level karnataka and jammu kashmir coming to district level uh so nilgiri pulwama and anantnag okay so ministry of health and family welfare is dr mansuk mandaviya so this is it for the day guys so we have co- covered almost all current topics and yes. and yes guys if you like my content please do like share and subscribe upsc tricks we'll meet again with new topics in the next video thank you